What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> there comes a time in the evolution of every soul when the chief concern is no longer the survival of the physical body, but the growth of the spirit. No longer the attainment of worldly success, but the realization of self. At this stage, before the growing entity matures in this point of view, there is often a sense of no longer caring about affairs of the body in any way. The soul is so excited about being discovered at last. The mind abandons the body and all matters of the body. Everything is ignored. Relationships are set aside. Families are disappeared. Jobs are made secondary. Bills go unpaid. The body itself is not even fed for long periods. The entire focus and attention of the entity is now on the soul and matters of the soul. This can lead to a major personal crisis in the day-to-day -day life of the being, although the mind perceives no trauma. It's hanging out in bliss. Other people say you have lost your mind, and in a sense, you may have. Discovery of the truth that life has nothing to do with the body can create an imbalance the other way. Whereas at first the entity acted as if the body were all there is, now it acts as if the body matters not at all. This, of course, is not true, as the entity soon, and sometimes painfully, remembers. There are those who hypothesize that upon death the body and mind are dropped. The body and the mind are not dropped. The body changes form, leaving its most dense part behind, but retaining always its outer shell. The mind, not to be confused with the brain, goes with you too, joining with the spirit and the body as the one energy mass of three dimensions, or facets. Should you choose to return to this experiencing opportunity that you call life on earth, your divine self will once again separate its true dimensions into what you call body, mind, and spirit. In truth, you are all one energy yet with three distinct characteristics. As you undertake to inhabit a new physical body here on Earth, your ethereal body, as some of you have termed it, lowers its vibrations, slows itself from a vibration so rapid that it cannot even be seen, to a speed that produces mass and matter. This actual matter is the creation of pure thought, the work of your mind the higher mind aspect of your three-part being. This matter is a coagulation of a million, billion, trillion different energy units into one enormous mass, controllable by the mind. You really are a master mind. As these tiny energy units have expended their energy, they are discarded by the body, while the mind creates new ones. This the mind creates out of its continuing thought about who you are. The ethereal body catches the thought, so to speak, and lowers the vibration of more energy units, in a sense crystallizes them, and they become matter, the new matter of you. In this way, every cell of your body changes every several years. You are quite literally not the same person you were a few years ago. If you think thoughts of illness or disease or continuing anger, hatred, and negativity, your body will translate these thoughts into physical form. People will see this negative, sick form, and they will say, what's the matter? They will not know how accurate their question is. The soul watches this whole drama play out year after year, month after month, day after day, moment after moment, and always holds the truth about you. It never forgets the blueprint, the original plan, the first idea, the creative thought. Its job is to remind you, that is to literally remind you, so that you may remember once again who you are, and then choose who you now wish to be. In this way, the cycle of creation and experience, imaging and fulfilling, knowing and growing into the unknown continues both now and even forevermore. Whoa. Yes, exactly.